All right, your very first comic has written for NBC, appeared with Chris Rock, Louis C.K., and Billy Gardell. Please welcome to the stage, make some noise for Kevin Rogers! So he has freaked the fuck out to see 800 people right now. <laughs> that was weird, man. It's usually like 42 spread over 20,000 seats. You can feel their breath. Hey, no, nah, I'm joking, man. It's a lot of fun to go see the Rays. Once. <laughs> For like three innings. And you go pet the fucking Stingray. You go, let's catch the rest on TV. It's better. <laughs> Rays have the lowest attendance in all of baseball, but they have sky-high TV ratings. This is great, they get support, right? And they're always bitching, they're like, hey, you know, if you guys don't start coming to more games, then we're gonna move the team. And we're like, okay. As long as you don't move my couch. It's not really gonna affect my experience that much. In fact, why don't you move to one of those towns with all the people in the stands? Cause that shit looks cool in HD. <laughs> they're like, no, I don't think you get it. Uh, we might move to Tampa. <laughs> like, oh, that'll be different. <laughs> it's the same demographic, douchebag. <laughs> Except now the players won't have to cross the bridge to get to Mons Venus. <laughs> right? Who are we hurting here? Uber, that's who. <laughs> Respect the Uber. Uber's in, how, how amazing is Uber? Yeah! We cure drinking and driving, we cured it! Fucking incredible. Every town, uh, yeah, it has Uber, fucking Uber. Yeah, it's, it's actual fact. Uh, because of Uber, drinking and driving is down and therefore highway fatalities are down. Yeah! Awesome. That'd be great. Your chances of getting raped in a Hyundai Sonata <laughs> by a man with an unpronounceable first name, the reeks of Dracar Noir, have gone through the roof, but you know, you take what you get. Uber's everywhere now, Uber's. Every town has Uber, but you know that except for Luke's. <laughs> Luke's does not have Uber, they have a different app called Goober. <laughs> and you press it, it's just a lot, it's an, it's an Iuga horn. <laughs> Iuga! And then a guy named Daryl shows up in a pickup truck. <laughs> hey man, you just fucked up, ain't you? Me too. <laughs> Come on, hop in. Fuck it, we'll take turns, man. Come on. We're gonna make all we gotta do is get in the Waffle House. That's it. That's home base. We'll get smothered, covered, and fucking sobered up. That's all good. We're gonna make it. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently they have cured uh, drinking and driving because you don't see that on the highway signs anymore, right? They've changed all the warnings. And uh, the latest one, if you've seen the billboard now, they, they've moved back on to pot, apparently, because those are the really fucked up drivers. Yeah. <laughs> the, I love the new campaign, Drive Bay to Get Busted. <laughs> How are you gonna know? <laughs> Excuse me, sir, have you been ingesting marijuana tonight? 
<laughs> what makes you think that, man? You're parked in the median. <laughs> I thought this was the beach, man. I was like, fucking those waves are close. <laughs> high drivers are the best ones out there. We want the high drivers. Right? Fuck, you're too paranoid to fuck up. Is that a cop? Is that a cop? Is that a, is that a cop or a bike rack? What is that? Is that a Dude, buckle up, are you nuts? Don't look, don't look, it's a, it's a, it's a cop with a bike rack. <laughs> the, you know you're too high to be driving when the jogger runs by the car. <laughs> That's when you've overdone it, right? <laughs> Dude, who's chasing you? <laughs> Get in, man, I'll save you. <laughs> Drive big to get busted. I swear. And then the texting ones. Now they're, 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 they, they installed electronic billboards, which is a fucking text. <laughs> to tell us not to text and drive. And it's like a long ass message, right? Put it down, it's the law, arrive alive, don't text and drive. And I'm fucking in the median. <laughs> I didn't get it all. What did it say? It would have taken me less time to send a text than to get the government warning. Who's, who's writing these things? The guy from the, from the Kia commercials? Is that the guy? Tell you what, Carolyn. Tell you what, Carolyn. We've got to keep people safe on the highways so they come down and get themselves in a new Kia. Does that guy even know they're recording the commercials? Right? He's eating a butterscotch. He's in the next fucking room. It's all echoey. I don't know, Carolyn. And nothing he says makes me want to buy a Kia. Nothing. Right? He's like, I'll tell you what, Carolyn. We were here late last night. It was here like two in the morning. Getting deals done for people. They come from all over. They come from Zephyr Hills and Palmetto and Starkey. None of them had jobs. None of them had credit. Most of them didn't speak English. They all went home in a new Kia. We don't care. We get it done. We strapped a 52 inch flat screen TV to the roof and we sent them on the way. Next week, we're all going to Mexico together. We're going to Mexico. Bunch of broke motherfuckers drinking tequila. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to keep you drunk until that first payment comes in. Then we're breaking even. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, that guy can only be in car sales, right? He can only fucking be in car sales. You could be a lawyer, right? Your problem is huge. <laughs> you don't know what you're gonna do, I don't know, man. Just sign this, don't look at it, don't, don't read it. Read it, don't read it. Carolyn, come in here, put a sombrero on this fucking guy. <laughs> oh, shit. Tampa Bay! We got it all right here, Tampa Bay. I tell you what, you know what's great? You know what we are uh, not dealing with right now? Hurricane is right! You're torn, South Carolina. No, we, hey, our prayers are in it. But here's the thing, right? It really, it turned out to be Florence was a drip. And the fucking weather people are so bummed out. You can tell they're but they live for a hurricane. It's the weather trifecta. Slow moving, lots of updates. Fucking, they got reporters on the scene and the raincoats. It's everything they dream of. Even here, this thing wasn't even coming close to Florida.
Florida, but Dennis Phillips went out and got himself a new pair of suspenders. A little extra hairspray. Stiff, but not too stiff. We're gonna stay up all night. We'll be awake for three days tracking this thing. Florence, and they're always perfectly named. That cracks me up. This hurricane behaved exactly like some woman named Florence. <laughs> it's the old woman in the grocery store, takes like two hours, putting shit in her cart, just building and building and building. And then she gets to the checkout and just fucking stops. Could you check the price of those lemons? I think they were on sale. <laughs> so Florence, it was a dream of, a few days ago, it was a four. Oh, category four, oh, breaking news. Category four, destruction is imminent. Our prayers are with you, Carolina. Then it started downgrading and they're like, uh-oh. <laughs> Just sell it, just sell it. We got reporters there, we're just, just sell it. Category, this just in. Flo Florence now downgraded to a category three. Why, that might be worse for residentials. <laughs> <laughs> what? They can't just come on and go, hey, this is great. It keeps going sweetening, this is awesome. They're like, I don't know. Unless you've ever dealt with a cat one. <laughs> You want to deal with a torrential drizzle <laughs> and gust of breeze, then hey, take it lightly. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see the, the reporter from the Weather Channel who got busted? Yeah. Oh, it's hilarious. If you didn't see it, look this up when you go home. Oh. So. <laughs> They thought, you know, they, they, you're out there. He's going, guys, it's like, it's just kind of drizzling. They're like, sell it, man, sell it. So he's got his raincoat on. He finds like the one rainy patch. And he's got some windy trees and he's doing this shit. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I can kind of hear you. It's, uh, it's about as intense as it's been out of here. Uh, we're just trying to hang on. Meanwhile, two stoners are walking by in the back. Unimpeded by wind or rain. An old couple walking a Pomeranian just. Are you okay, young man? Get the fuck out of my shot! Larry, what the hell? Come on! Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> Sell it, baby! Uh, so, congratulations, by the way, Florida. Tampa Bay, we are progressive, man. Medical marijuana, how great is that, yeah? Important, needed. Thank you, John Morgan of Morgan and Morgan. It encouraged me to know he's been high as shit for 40 years of lawsuits. Medical marijuana, you got your car, right? Get a car, come on, something hurts. You gotta have something going on, don't you? Dig out those old MRIs or something. I don't know. I'm feeling a little glaucomic myself. I, uh, I'm walking up to my doctor, my eye doctor, I don't know what it is, doc. Ever since November 2nd. <laughs> I can't see shit, where are you? Talk louder, I can't even. The eye chart? I'll give it a shot. Uh, looks like it says, here's a hundred dollars. You're close? 125, what is that? It's not uh, evil anymore, and that's great. 
Because uh, when I was in my 20s, I smoked a lot of weed. Uh, you know, yeah. Uh, 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 unobserved. As often as possible. And it was, uh, they used to, remember the war on drugs, right? And it was like, it was this evil. And they had these commercials and they'd warn you about the evils of marijuana. And it cracked me up because they'd always come on at like four in the morning. Okay. Who's awake at four in the morning? Hi, people. Watching lizards fuck on the Discovery Channel. Dude, look at his neck. The wood is next to it. He's gonna eat her. <laughs> and then the commercial come on. This is the brainwave of the average 14-year-old. <laughs> this is the brainwave of the same 14-year-old after smoking marijuana. <laughs> You're sitting there with your bong and like, wow. Thank you.